Hi, I'm George Spicer, and I have a word of encouragement for you. I wrote an article for our church newsletter uh, in January, in which I tried to give some insight into the name of our church, Life in Christ. And this is what I wrote. Life is a form of insurance, a bar of soap, a magazine. But is that all there is to life? Life is clothes, cars, lots of spending money, popularity and friends, things to do, places to go. And yet, Jesus teaches in Matthew 6.19, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. Life is the teenager who struggles in conflict with parents. It's the parent, the husband, the wife, who's tired of their vocation. It's the chronically ill who slide into depression and despair. That's life. Jesus says in John 11, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies, and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. That's life. In Christ, John 14, 6, Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life. But what about the things I need? Jesus said in Matthew 6, Do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? Your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all of these other things will be given to you as well. But what about loneliness? God says in Joshua 1.5, I will never leave you nor forsake you. But what about the things I worry about? 1 Peter 5.7, Cast all your cares on Jesus, for he cares for you. But what about all the ways I've messed up? 1 John 1.9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But what about death? Psalm 23, verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. So, in Christ, we have life. John 17, 3. Now this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God in Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. That's life, life in Christ. And for all of you who have embraced Jesus as your Lord and Savior, that's the life that you have now and eternal life in heaven. Celebrate that this week. Thanks for joining me. I'll return on Monday at 8 o'clock with another word of encouragement. Until then, God bless your week. Bye-bye now.